Hi and welcome to my channel 10 years younger. So if you've ever researched buying a collagen supplement online you probably realised it's really confusing because you've got four different types of collagen then you've got bovine or you've got marine collagen, you've got hydrolyzed or peptide and you've got some tablets which contain 300 milligrams and some which contain a thousand. The whole thing's really confusing. So this video aims to break it down to explain what collagen is and how you can get it into your diet. So collagen is one of the main building blocks for our skin, teeth, tendons, ligaments, basically everything. It holds us together like scaffolding. And in fact, the name collagen comes from the Greek word kola, which means glue. And it was used as glue for thousands of years. There are 28 types of collagen, but types one, two, and three are the ones which are found most abundantly in our body. Type one accounts for 90% of the collagen found in your body and is made of densely packed fibers. It provides structure to skin, bone, teeth, connective tissue, and cartilage. It can be made of pigs, cows, or fish. Type two is made of less densely packed fibers and it's found in the cartilage which cushions our joints. And type three supports the structure of muscles, arteries, and organs. Our bodies produce collagen naturally, so you don't necessarily need to take the supplement. But when you hit 25 years old, the collagen production decreases by 1% every year. Also, as you get older, the quality of the collagen being produced by your body decreases more and more. So this contributes to visible signs of aging like dry skin and wrinkles, but also less cartilage leads to joint problems as we get older. Collagen supplements is a multi-million pound business, especially in the US, but you can see how it would be aimed partly at you know, the beauty industry and people wanting an anti-aging supplement, and the other half, from older people who want a relief from joint pain. So how do our bodies make collagen? Procollagen is the precursor to collagen and your body makes procollagen by combining two amino acids, proline and glycine. And it also needs vitamin C for this process. Firstly, proline. It can be found in egg whites, wheat germ, asparagus, mushrooms, and dairy products. While glycine can be found in pork skin, chicken skin, gelatin, and seafood. If you're a vegetarian or a vegan or a pescatarian, you can also find glycine in spirulina, which is a type of seaweed stroke algae, which you can buy in a supplement form as well. The final step is that your body adds galactose and glucose, which are sugars, to make collagen. As well as understanding how our bodies produce collagen, it's just as important to understand how certain actions we take destroys collagen. So you need to avoid sun, sugar, and smoking because all of those things stop our bodies from repairing and being able to produce collagen. So what foods can you eat which naturally contain lots of collagen? Well, first of all, animal skins like pork skin or chicken skin will be really high in collagen. Another really rich source is bone broth. So that's basically when you boil bones um, and you make a soup out of it. Gelatine is basically cooked collagen, so it's very high in the amino acids that your body needs to produce new collagen. And you can add that to various things when you're cooking, like ice cream, uh, cheesecake, it's, you know, jam, things like that. However, there's a debate as to whether eating collagen-rich foods actually translates into having more collagen in your system, because when you eat that collagen, it's broken down into amino acids, and then it'll be rebuilt into different types of protein by your body. And you can't actually choose where that protein is gonna go. So it's not necessarily the case where you're gonna eat some uh, collagen rich food and then that's gonna make your skin look better. At the moment, it's unclear whether eating foods with collagen offer the same amount of collagen as taking a supplement or even if supplements work. There's not been enough research and the research that has been done is generally been funded by the companies who are trying to sell the products. So there is some bias there. It's also unclear how many grams of collagen is needed per day to maintain healthy skin. So it does seem better when you're choosing a supplement to go for one which is a collagen peptide or hydrolyzed collagen. And they both are the same thing. It just means they've taken the collagen and they've broken it down into smaller fragments um, of collagen protein, which are called amino acids. 
and that means it's more readily available to your body. It's already been broken down, so your digestive system has to put less effort to you know, get the benefits from it. So collagen can't be synthesized. It has to come from animal sources, so it's no good if you're a vegan or a vegetarian. These supplements are normally made from pigs, cows, chickens, or sometimes all three combined. You can also buy supplements made of gelatin. Now, this form of collagen is only partially broken down, so again, it would take longer for your body to actually get the benefit from those. And the third type of supplement you can buy is raw or undenatured collagen. So that's where the collagen remains intact. It hasn't been broken down, and it could be something like ground chicken bones or cow bones, something like that. So not enough independent clinical studies have been done on collagen supplements. So at the moment, it's a little bit unclear whether they actually work at all, and if they do, you know, what benefits they do bring. So I'm gonna link a couple of studies so you can actually do some research for yourself before you go ahead and buy. As I mentioned, the quality of the collagen that your body produces decreases with age. So one thing I'm kind of unsure about is, it, is that if you eat, you know, more collagen rich foods or you take a supplement, doesn't that mean that your body is still going to be producing low quality collagen? So that hasn't been addressed as well. When you look at some of these supplements, then it will say on the label, this may help to make your skin look younger. They can never say this will definitely make you look younger or get rid of wrinkles. They can't say that because they get sued. It hasn't been proven yet. It may be true. I don't want to say, you know, it's not true, but at the moment it's a little bit vague. Also, I've seen some YouTubers who are obviously uh, getting paid to promote certain products and they're all enthusiastic. And sometimes you'll see Amazon reviews where people are saying, oh yeah, I started using this collagen supplement three days ago and my skin is glowing. Well, it would take at least a month to see the benefit coming through to your skin. So anything like that, you've got to kind of use your common sense and do your research if you do want to buy one of these products. I'm not saying they don't work, you know, it may be great for you. There are doctors who doubt the efficacy of these um, collagen supplements because they say that the supplements won't survive stomach acid and then the pH of our gut, so it won't even get anywhere near to, you know, producing new collagen in our skin. And there's also, back to the argument I've already said, that you don't choose where this collagen is gonna go. So if you've just been to the gym and your body decides you need some new protein in your bicep muscles and you take a collagen supplement for your skin, probably it's gonna break down that collagen into amino acids and make new muscle in your bicep. So one of the more concerning things about taking a supplement which is made from cow, chicken or pig skin bone and nerve fibers, those things act as sponges for contaminants and heavy metals. So a 2019 consumer lab test found a collagen supplement which contained really high levels of cadmium, which is a toxic heavy metal. And the other thing which is not really mentioned that much is a potential risk of BSE, mad cow disease. So I bought a collagen supplement a couple of years back from Superdrug. It was less than £10 a packet and I got it because it was on sale. It was three for two. I took it for three months and honestly, I didn't notice any difference. It didn't do anything at all. Now that was a marine uh, source of collagen, but it could be because it's a cheap brand. I don't really know, but I haven't given up. So I'm gonna try again and I've paid £18.50 for two months worth of marine collagen supplements from British supplements. And the reason I've chosen them is because on the website they have this certificate and it's a document from the International Nutritional Center of Excellence, which proves that these supplements actually contain what they say. So I was really impressed that they've, they've actually gone and got that document and made it public. So you don't know what you're getting a lot of the time when you buy stuff online. So I really did appreciate that. So as a conclusion, what should you buy if you do wanna go for supplement? Well, first of all, if you're a vegetarian, you can't go for any of them, but you may want to look into eating foods which will allow your body to produce more collagen naturally. If you're a pescatarian, you can only go for a marine. Make sure you do buy hydrolyzed or the peptide form of collagen so your body will be able to utilize it easier. Make sure you buy a collagen supplement which clearly specifies whether it's type 1, 2, 3 or 4, otherwise you have no idea what it is. And if you are middle-aged, um, then maybe it's worth getting more than one or two types of collagen. Get a product which has 
uh, cover for your joints as well as skincare. However, if you love cooking, then maybe it would be worth you using gelatin in desserts and various dishes and making broth with bones and stuff like that, you know, rather than needing to go down the supplement route at all. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've tried taking collagen supplements, please let me know which one and how that went for you. I hope this video has cleared things up for you and have a great day.